welcome to the Fantasy Grounds YouTube channel. My name is Doug Davis and I'll be showing you briefly how to use the new stat block import tool that's built into the advanced bestiary uh, module and extension from Green Ronin and I um, hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to show you real quickly. This is the uh, NPC factory where you can apply templates to NPCs. I'll cover that in a later video so subscribe here if you want to see more details on that and other uh, Fantasy Grounds functionality. But for now, we're going to focus on the import tool. So you go into your NPC factory, and then you go to your import tab. And here it's got a section that simply states to cl click to enter text, and then you click a button to build the new NPC from a stat block. So what this will allow you to do is to pull um, any sort of a standard stat block from you know the website, from a website, or from a PDF, uh, or if you wanted to just type it in a stat block format, if you find that that's easier than actually filling out a record. Uh, as opposed to going through and, and creating manually. So if I was to manually create, I'd have to go through and just kind of fill out each of these sections individually, which it's not that complicated to do. It's pretty easy to come through and set these things out, but you know, importing it all with one click is, is definitely much simpler. So what I'm going to do right now is show you the, um, I've got the website open from the Pathfinder um, reference document from Paizo. And what this is, is this is a list of free rules that they've um, opened up as open gaming license material for anyone to use freely. Uh, now I do highly recommend that you go out and you purchase their product if you like their uh, material so that that will encourage them to put out more and more material for all of us gamers to enjoy. Um, but if you already have the book and you just wanted to get these, these stats very quickly loaded into your Fantasy Grounds copy without having to do hardly any input, what you can do is you can come out to this website um, and if you scroll up, you'll see it's got a bunch of, this is from the new Monster Codex, but it's got a bunch of different types of creatures. And in this, this particular case, the Monster Codex is really nice because what it does is it shows you the, uh, a bunch of standard monsters, but then it gives you different varieties of these. So in this case, you could do uh, the Raider, I believe, is a Barbarian Frost Giant. Uh, this Frost Giant Hunter has got the Ranger uh, class added, two levels worth of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come through, and you're just going to highlight uh, the stat block that you want. Do one stat block at a time. Control C or do a copy, either one of those two. Go back to Fantasy Grounds, click, hit enter, uh, and you can look it over and kind of see that everything got brought in fine. As long as it looks uh, okay, then just click Build NPC, and you'll see, I don't know if you saw that on the side, but it created a brand new record here, an NPC record. And it also set the template to be your letter template for the letter F. Here it looks like it automatically put in, uh, yeah, he's a large humanoid, plus two initiative, CR11. The census got brought over, or it did. The AC got brought through properly. Um, here your hit dice, that's important for if you have your preferences set to automatically reroll uh, hit points or to apply the max hit points, that's preference driven. Your saving throws are all preset. Uh, special qualities, occasionally you'll see what will happen here is you'll see the uh, weaknesses got picked up multiple times along with some offense so what I would recommend is just kind of look it over real briefly and then uh, worst case scenario you just go through and delete a little bit of the extra content that gets brought through the most important thing is you make sure your AC looks like it's good your hit points your hit dice here your attacks uh, you'll see that it's got uh, the multiple attacks either the rock or using the spear so I could pick up and roll the rock let me get rid of this screen here so you can see so there the rock was thrown properly with the right stat Here's your damage um, that got brought through okay. Or if I do my spear attack, it's got all three uh, attacks loaded here, so and each with their different uh, to hit bonus. So um, that's all pretty much working as expected. All your abilities are there. If they just need to roll a strength, uh, you know, a strength check, for instance, uh, it'll automatically figure that out. Your skills should get brought through. Uh, check this area because this area and feats depending on the stat block, if they've got some other stuff in there, then it sometimes gets a little bit off on the import. But for the most part, it's it's pretty uh, straightforward. And then the nice thing here is that, let's say, for instance, you don't spot something that was wrong, and you go ahead and you use it in your campaign, and then once you're in your campaign, you find that, oh, it, it somehow picked up the wrong thing for your skill, then what you can do is, if you look on the other tab, that just shows you exactly uh, what you supplied to the import tool. So. Um, that's it in a, in a quick uh, five minute video. And if you have any questions, feel free to post on the video or go out to the Fantasy Grounds forums uh, and post there. You can interact with us on Google. Uh, we've got a Facebook page as well and a Twitter account. So 
I uh, look forward to seeing uh, you know what you guys come up with this, and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by.